Lee is given uh, command of the vanguard initially, which is a prestigious position, leading the, the army uh, at the front with orders to attack. And he turns it down. I shall not deign to accept that. So Washington appoints Lafayette. Lafayette accepts. Lee is now upset that a junior officer has been placed in command rather than him. And then he demands the position. So he accepts it. He marches out. And uh, his force is facing British grenadiers. And ultimately, he's under orders. Um, the question is, is it direct orders or implied orders? But the sense is he's supposed to attack. And he retreats instead. And Washington catches wind of this. It's actually a drummer um, who's running back. And Washington sort of grabs hold of him. He's like, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know, sir. We're retreating. What do you mean? And Washington charges forward. And he gets, runs into a retreating Lee. And he says to Lee, what are you doing, sir? You know, paraphrasing a bit. He says, uh, um, 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 your excellence, uh, um, and he calls him, you damn poltroon. <laughs> OK, what does that mean? It means you damn coward publicly. And there's all sorts of these mythical languages that the trees shook at the sound of Washington swearing. And anyway. Uh, Washington relieves him of command and personally charges in, writing a potential uh, uh, retreat. One thing that everybody is going to need is your musket. All right. This right here. State of the art, my friends. This is it. All right. This is a replica of a 1756 flintlock musket. All right. It's about four and a half feet long, weighs about eight to ten pounds. It's about, and this is standard, uh, standard issue. You will have this, you will own this, and you will love this. Don't lose it. Don't break it, all right, um, is the thing. It consists of three parts. Your lock, which is this metal mechanism right here. Your stock, which is the wooden part right here. And your smoothbore barrel, which is this long metal tube right here, all right? Hence the phrase, lock, stock, and barrel, right? It means the whole thing, whole kit and caboodle here. It's important to note that this barrel is a smooth bore. It means that it's just a long tube of metal. Right? Um, it is not grooved. When something is rifled, what that means is that there's grooves in here. Right? When you put a ball in there and the grooves would snug down, give it a spin, all right? which means you can actually aim this. You can't do that with this weapon. That's not the point. 